the Edison station, <laughs> right? Oh, oh, well, because because the, you know, the establishment doesn't want people to even know about Tesla. I've talked okay. to people who, who are scientists who you know who study physics and chemistry, and they've never heard of Tesla. That's yeah, how much they're that's yeah. It's all very top secret. Okay, they, they don't want you to know. Okay, <laughs> so uh, so then he says, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Okay, and what okay. are we seeing today? An anti-Christian, uh, anti-Christianity developing. Okay, so tell me what that would imply then, that they be de- that they deliver you to be inflicted. Are we talking about actually seizing you? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so why don't you go into that a little bit? Well, I mean, here in America, uh, we've had uh, several, uh, uh, specifically in Christian identity, we've had uh, several of our people being ar- arrested and killed by the feds. Uh, Gordon Cowell would be one of them because uh, in the Christian identity movement, uh, we believe that and we know that the Internal Revenue Service is not operating legally. Okay, we also know that the Federal Reserve Bank is illegal; it's totally unconstitutional, and the tax-exempt corporations are illegal as well. Okay, so, so you might, uh, when, uh, for the new listeners, tell what a Christian identity is. Is you know, it's yeah, identified Christian, with an Anglo Sego and right. just right. A Christian identity is the doctrine that the Caucasian people are the true Israelites of the Bible, and the Bible actually prophesied in uh, Isaiah eleven sixteen that the uh, the lost tribes would migrate across the Caucasus Mountains into an area called Ar Sarath, which is just north of the Black Sea, and uh, would settle there and my and uh, Migrate into Europe from there. Okay, so that's and, why the, they're called Caucasian. That's right. That's exactly how. Okay. And, it, and it's amazing that all of your, because I remember uh, reading, you know, about the Caucasian people in in history class when I was a student in high school, you know, and in, in grade school, and you know they would say, well, the white people came from uh, the Caucasus Mountains, but they would never go any further back or you know it was just like they just mis- mysteriously appeared like uh you know for a doctor you know dr spock or you know the the starship enterprise <laughs> materialized us just north of the caucasus mountains right well it turns out that the israelites were taken captive uh by the assyrians and placed in Medea and Armenia and uh, I think Belarus uh, would be another area. That area just south of the Caucasus Mountains between the Black and Caspian Seas. Okay. And, well, then, uh, uh, and go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. And then, then they decided, well, they didn't like being captives. They didn't like being slaves to the Assyrians. So they made a pact among themselves to uh, go across the, um, the Caucasus Mountains. And, in fact, the Darial Pass... Uh, so-called, is still known to locals as the Pass of Israel there today, okay? And so, you know, we talked about this at length and, uh, two, uh, yeah, two weeks ago. Right. And, and, uh, you know, I explained uh, how the various tribes, uh, settled in various different locations in Europe, okay? So it's and, firmly you know, established. It's firmly in. established. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's no doubt about this. Okay. In fact, anybody who does doubt it, I would uh, invite him or her to go to my website, www.anglo-saxonisrael.com, and click on the Migration Chronicles. The Migration Chronicles, I have a six-part slideshow. It's nearly a 1,000 slides already, which goes into the uh, documenting the history of how the Israelites became the Anglo-Saxon slash Caucasian people. Okay, and so uh, our our ancestors are definitely Israelites. There's simply no doubt about this, and uh, you know I, I, I'm willing to debate anybody who disagrees. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I will I will enlighten that person. Okay. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. So let's continue. Now, uh, and, uh, let me just make one more point here. So Gordon Cowell was murdered by the feds oh, oh, for oh, being uh, for teaching what I teach. 
that the Jews are not the Israelites of the Bible, that the white people are, are the Israelites of the Bible. And all, because he was also opposed to the IRS, the feds murdered him. They simply murdered him. And you probably remember the, the Randy uh, Weaver episode where they murdered his oh, yes. wife, Vicky. She was oh, yeah. standing in the doorway and an FBI agent, uh, you know, a, st- a sniper shot her in the head. And right. we've had many, many of our people, uh, have and been victimized. Yes, yes, exactly. Many of our people have been victimized, but also there's a general anti-Christian sentiment, uh, being, you know, you have all these movies from Hollywood that are, you know, um, questioning the legitimacy of the Bible and, uh, suggesting that Jesus Christ was a homosexual and uh, all these things. You know, Hollywood is just coming out with blasphemous anti-Christian sentiment. We also have the situation here in America where uh, Christianity is being um, outlawed because you can't, Christians cannot have uh, groups after school in in public schools. Yet Muslims can, Jews can, atheists can, but Christians can't. So you're saying the primary religion then of the Anglo-Saxon is the one that's under attack. That's right, exactly. Christianity. Christianity. And uh, it's not just under attack directly in these manners, but it's being attacked indirectly by uh, infiltrators such as the World Council of Churches, the National Council of Churches, and uh, various sects such as the, um, oh, the Jehovah's Witnesses and many others who uh, are basically undermining by teaching a universalistic type of religion. Okay, mm-hmm. as opposed to Christianity, where Jesus says very clearly, "No one comes to the Father but through me." So okay. Christianity is the one true religion, and what's happening? We have a, a one-world government trying to establish a one-world religion, which is trying to blend all these different religions into one. Okay, but you can't do that because these religions contradict each other. Okay, well, but it that sounds like. Matter. It, yeah. Go ahead. It sounds like to me that uh, Matthew 24, uh, you yes. know, is it's coming true. <laughs> hard, 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 arguably hard to ignore when it comes to yes. what it said was end time. What was going to happen in the end times, mm-hmm. and and so you're saying then that this attack then represents the attack on all, on all the Anglo Saxons. So I would assume that it would be in all the basically what we call the the Western cultures, then, that's right, that, Western that are Western. having this collapse occurring. Yes. Now, yeah. is, it, is it is it external to this culture, or is it inside the culture and attacking well, it from within? The the the, uh, the Rothschilds in the mid 1800s, around 1850, got into the Bible publishing business. Okay, and they started deleting chapters from the Bible, such as the Apocrypha, okay, because every King James Bible up until that time period contained the Apocrypha, and the Apocrypha fill in the history between the Old Testament and the New Testament, okay, and the reason why the Rothschilds deleted all those chapters and why uh, they, the Jews in general, Juda- Judaism, has suppressed all this information is because if you know this information, it proves that the Jews aren't the Judahites of the Old Testament, that they're in fact the Edomites and Canaanites of the Old Testament who latched on to citizenship in Judea around 121 B.C. and when Herod assassinated the entire Judahite Sanhedrin and replaced that Sanhedrin with his Edomite friends. Okay, Which, and for which the, are the half the half human. That, right, right. Well, uh, in the book of Judges, I was just reading today about okay. the, uh, fa- the descendants of the fallen angels and the giants having been exterminated during the time of the judges in, in the Old Testament, except for the tribe of Gath. The tribe of Gath was the last tribe of giants, and Goliath was a member of that tribe. Okay. And how did he have a connection with the Philistines, which is where you... Here he right. was fight. Yeah, he, well, he was basically a mercenary for the Philistines. Okay? Oh, I see. I got they it. Hired. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah. So like uh, we are mercenaries for the Zionists. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> By the way, the, the 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 Zionists are Goliath, and we're David. Okay. <laughs> okay. Lucky right. me. But, but see, here, 